Welcome to the Inside Word, August the 8th. It's been six weeks now since the federal election, and today, actually, the writs will be returned. And it's taken six weeks for the final count of the Senate vote. As we know, it was a double dissolution that was called, where all the senators go out. And the view was, by the, by the government at the time, was that it would clean out the Senate and have a more workable Senate. Well, the reality is that there are now 11 crossbenchers. We've got four from One Nation. Pauline Hanson returns. We've got three, the Nick Xenophon party from South Australia. And then we've got Jackie Lambie from Tasmania, Darren Hench, the Justice Party from Victoria, David Lynham from New South Wales, and Bob Day, Family First, from uh, South Australia. So this is going to make it more complex for the government to try to get through legislation. But in some ways, because a lot of them are sent to right, the government might be able to get through, just might, the Australian Building and Construction Commission legislation plus the registered organisations, which really was the basis of why Malcolm Turnbull called the double dissolution. Of course, in the House of Representatives, it's a wafer-thin majority of one seat. And even the seat of Herbert, which was in Townsville, finally went to the Labor Party last week. So it's going to be quite challenging for the coalition to try to get legislation through and just to function. But the funny thing is, tight parliaments, they do tend to survive. In Queensland, it's a hung parliament, and Anastasia Chapalache has survived. And Julia Gillard had a minority government, and she survived. So this will be the real test for Scott Morrison, for Malcolm Turnbull, for Barnaby Joyce and the other leadership team is, you know, can they convince the crossbenchers to pass the legis legislation through in the 45th Parliament? So it's going to be interesting times, and that's all from the Inside Word.